You know what's awesome about this PDF? It's made by me. Hi friends, I'm Madhavta from Easy Approach and in this video we are going to work on PDFs and we will show how we can uh, create PDF in Flutter application and how we can show it on the screen. So first of all, let's see what are the dependencies we need to add in order to make this thing happen. So there are three dependencies we need to add. The first one is this PDF to create PDF in our Flutter application. The second one is the path provider to access the most commonly used path within the Flutter application so that we can use it for storing the PDF that we're gonna create. And the last one is the PDF viewer to view the PDF that we will create. Now let's see what are what is from the design perspective. So there there is not so much of the code that I've written already. Uh, we have just used a scaffold widget and inside it we have uh, an app bar, uh, just a simple app bar and we have the body of the scaffold in which I have given a text widget that's uh, wrapped inside the column widget. And the most most important thing here is we have used here floating action button and inside the on press of this we will perform some functionality like creation of PDF and saving it and showing it on the screen. Now, before doing anything, we have to import a couple of files that are actually from the PDF package and that will help in whatever we are doing. So just come at the top and write here import and we have to import pdf.dart file which is actually from the PDF package, here it is. And the second file that we need to import is the widgets.dart because PDF package provide its own collection of widget that we can use for uh, creating the PDF uh, in our Flutter application. So just write here widgets.dart. So make sure it's from the PDF package, not from the Flutter. And you have to give some alias as well. You can give anything like PW. And now, uh, first of all, let's uh, make uh, a final variable of PDF document so that we can use it for uh, writing something on it. So you can write final, you can give any name and the document class uh, actually is from widgets.dart that we have just imported. So you can access it by using PW and inside it we have document and this is how you can create the object of PDF document that we can use for uh, writing something on it. So let's create a function for writing something on the PDF that we can use for testing. Uh, so that we can show it on the screen. So uh, just write a function. Write on PDF, you can give any name. And inside it, first of all, we need to add pages on the PDF document that we have created. So you can add page by using pdf.addPage. And I want to add multi-page so we can add it using multi-page. So this multi-page is actually from the widgets.dart. As I said, the PDF package provides its own collection of widgets that we can use for creation of the PDF. So you can see here PW dot. So whenever we will access widgets of and widgets from the PDF package, so we will write here PW dot. And now we can give some properties. Uh, the very first thing we can give is the page format to specify what's, what, what sort of page you want to use for adding it on the PDF. So I want to add a A4 size uh, page format. So you can access PDF page format dot A4. And now let's give some margin to the page. So you can do it by edge insets dot all. This edge insets is also from widgets dot dot that's actually from the PDF package and that is the reason uh, we have used PW here. So just give some value like 32. This is good. Uh, now let's uh, write something on the PDF. So there is a build property inside this uh, multi-page that you can use for writing something on the PDF. And now we have to give here the context. And this context is actually not the ordinary context we use, uh, but it's from the PDF package. And you have to write the context name. 
and now we can return the list of widgets and this widget is also from the pw that's a widgets.art it's not actually the ordinary widget so this is fine so inside the pdf firstly i want to add some heading so you can use some heading by using header so it's actually from the widgets dot dot and now first of all you can give the level the the lesser the level the more it's prominent so just give zero here and now we can give child so this text widget is also from the widgets dot dot keep in mind we cannot use the normal widget inside this uh, pdf page and now let's uh, write something you want to add on pdf as a heading easy approach document so this is how you can add heading now let's add some paragraph so for paragraph we can use paragraph uh, widget it's also from widgets.dart so don't forget to use pw dot and inside it you can give the text that's in the string form so i've just uh, copied uh, some text from a lot of ipsum so it's just a dummy text and let's uh, add some other paragraph as well and now let's uh, add another heading i'm just doing it for fun but this time i would change uh, the level of uh, the heading from zero to one so it would be less prominent as compared to the previous one and let's give the child pw dot text and let's uh, add uh, some more par paragraph we can just copy and paste so i think this this is enough for testing purpose these are the paragraphs and the headings we have added the heading first of all and then two a couple of paragraphs another heading with a different level and then three paragraphs and other paragraphs now uh, we can we have finished with the build we have some other properties as well like footer like header and the orientation we can use it but but for the sake of the simplicity uh, we can just uh, do it now let's write uh, some code for saving this pdf so first of all let's uh, minimize this all because we have done with the writing and now let's create a future save pdf so first of all let's uh, access the document the application document directory so that we can use it for storing the pdf so just write here directory and write uh, something document directory and the path provider dependency that we added previously is actually for this job to provide us the document directory or some other documents so you can use get document directory this is get application documents directory and as this is a future you have to use here await and since you are using await you need to add async as well so this would return us the application documents directory and we can use it for uh, saving the file that we have just created now let's get the string path of to this directory so you can first make a, a string variable document path you can give any name and to access the document 
a directory path you can use this dot path now let's create a file so this file is actually from the the dart colon io so make sure uh, you have imported this file now let's give some name and you have to specify the path along with the name so you can do it first of all let's give the directory path and now let's uh, add the forward slash. and now let's give some name like uh, example dot pdf so this is great now at the last on this file we can save uh, uh, we can write the PDF file so you can do it by using file dot write as byte sync and here you can give PDF dot save so this is the code to save the PDF so you can see here first of all we have uh, first of all we have got the document directory and then we have uh, access its path and we have created a file uh, on the place uh, in the document directory with the name example.pdf and we have we have wrote uh, we have written on this file uh, with the pdf that we have created so this is how you can uh, save the pdf and now let's uh, we have saved the pdf and now we can just uh, show it on the sec on the other screen so before creating another screen for viewing the PDF that we have created, uh, let's call this these two functions. First of all, we have to write we have to call the write PDF function. As and secondly, we have to call the save PDF. And as this is a future, it's better to use here await. And since you are using await, we need to add async as well. And now we can create uh, another screen for viewing the PDF that we have created. So just come here and let's create another screen. You can give anything like PDF uh, preview screen. <clears throat> Sorry. So first of all, let's uh, import material.dart and we can make a stateless widget PDS PDF preview screen and here we need to use a scaffold PDF uh, viewer scaffold Here it is. And now, here we have to give the path of the file. So we can get the path from outside the previous screen. So it's actually the string path. So you can use final string path. And we can get it using, using the constructor. And now we can give here the path. So this is all we need to do on this screen. So this is the beauty of this Flutter full PDF Weaver. It says it's a pretty long name and they are really doing a good job. Now we have to navigate to this screen uh, and we have to send uh, the PDF uh, path name as well. So first of all, uh, the path is actually uh, where we have a store. So the path is actually this thing because it's always the same. So let's copy this. Oh my God. Yeah. Now let's come here and make a string variable of path or you can call it full path because we have to send it uh, to the other screen 
I know it's it's constant, but it's it's better because we can use it uh, dynamic as well. So that is why I'm sending it with the variable. Oh, we need to. Oh my God. We can you we can make it uh, global as well, but um, let's do it. And now, uh, just we have to navigate to the other screen. So you can use navigator dot uh, push, and here you need to pass the context. And now this is the usual, the 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 commonly used or the 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 context that we use normally, not from the widget dot. And now let's uh, give material page root, and in the builder. Let's give the context again, and we have to return uh, the PDF preview screen that we have uh, just made. This one. And in the path, we have to we have to give this full path. So I think this is it. Now we can run our Flutter application. Let's minimize this thing. And let's see what we have done we have a write on PDF and we have saved the PDF on this path and at the last we are using this path and we are going to the second screen where we can see the PDF so I think this is all we need to do now let's run the application Um, let's see if it if it it's running Yeah, the application is running now and Let's uh, click on it because we have uh, Written every code here So that must show the PDF that we have created. Oh So if I click on it ah, You can see the PDF here it is it's pretty it's small in the size because it's a4 size page and so we can uh, zoom it yeah you can see it uh, this is really a PDF so I think this is it from this video yeah you can make it more beautiful by using uh, different uh, organizations of uh, the data or we have different widgets in the in the document of that's from the PDF package so you can test all and uh, you can uh, give a, a give a try uh, by making something awesome and you can share on the comment as well uh, that how you created there's one more widget that I like most uh, is the table widget inside the widget or dot from the PDF package so it creates a sort of a table on the on the PDF and it's a it's it's, it's pretty nice to see there so this is it from this video. In this video, we have learned uh, the PDF, how we can make PDF on Flutter application and how we can show it on the Flutter application. So this is it from, the, in, from this video. If you like the video, please give a big thumbs up and please subscribe the channel and share the videos with those who want to learn Flutter with easy approach. So thank you for watching.